Hello everybody, I'm Nickhead. Welcome back to Minecraft City Construction Challenge, or at least the world that it was in. Uh, this is probably going to be the last episode of this for quite a while. I wanted to give you a little bit of a tour of the world, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this world up for download, so if you want to play around in here, if you want to improve what I've done, if you want to do your own thing here, you can do that. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is that the 1.7 update uh, comes out today. The day I'm actually recording this is pretty early in the morning. I think it's like 5 in the morning right now. Um, but we can't really take advantage of that here. I mean, this is a very location-fixed kind of series. And if I want to play around with the new biomes, if I want to take a look at the new world generation, that kind of thing, this series is not really well suited to that. I would rather do something, I think, that involves more traveling around, a little more poking around, exploration, that kind of thing. And I have some ideas for what I'm going to do. I had planned on doing Feed the Beast kind of full-time as, you know, the Minecraft content on this channel. Unfortunately, I think what's going to happen there, though, is that we're going to be shutting that server down. Doomplug's been running it for a while, and he's had some stuff going on, and it doesn't look like we'll be able to continue that. And rather than starting up an entirely new Feed the Beast series in, you know, a Feed the Beast version that we've already seen, I might just wait for a while and then, you know, see what else comes out in terms of Feed the Beast in the future, and then maybe we'll return to it at that point. But, today what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of a tour. I'm going to show you a little bit of, of uh, what is here, and that, you know, it's a lot of half-baked projects and half-finished things, but we can take a look if I can get... There we go. Get the horse, James Bond, to uh, to come with me here. Here we go. So these were the first houses that we built. This was actually, I think, the first one. It's got its little field next to it. Same with over here. Little field next to that one. This is the second house we built, and then I think this was the third. And this is kind of like the village area, or the housing area of like the farming district. Uh, for those who aren't aware, the kind of terms of the game was that we could only use certain materials, certain uh, certain tools, up to you know a certain point, and then once we crossed the threshold, we could upgrade to cut to uh, kind of the next tier. I believe the list of uh, oh, that's not right. That should be a wood block there. Oh well, there's a there's a glitch, or not a glitch, but a. a mistake. Um, and the idea was that, you know, we'd kind of progress through. We only got, I think, to about the iron level is where we are right now. I don't think we advanced past that. The next one would be the gold. Um, but we made a good run at it. I think we got, a, you know, we, there's a fair bit here. We could have done more, but um, man, was it time consuming, at least in the beginning. Having to work with stone tools and wooden tools even before that. Uh, so over here, there's the, you know, the little pumpkin thing. Pumpkin farm. Uh, I think these are carrots over here. Another wheat farm. And I think there's potatoes around here somewhere. Or no, there wasn't. We didn't have potatoes at the time. We have carrots, and I recently got potatoes, so there's a whole bunch of them around here. But I don't think I planted any. And we kind of expanded over in this direction. We built that little bridge there, which I think looks kind of neat. I still would like if we could put those posts down in the water and then not have that entire block taken up by the post. Like, if the water actually came in, that would be neat. Uh, and then over here we have the little house that's for the cow guy. The little beef thing on the on the, uh, the door there. There's our cow farm. And I guess when you load and unload worlds, if the cows are right up against the, the fence, they end up kind of glitching through it. So there's cows just everywhere, really. They're all over the place. Uh, over here was the pig area. We never really bred pigs because there's not a lot you can use pigs for. And I already had the cows. See, they're literally everywhere. Uh, and then this was the house that we built when we were testing out when they added the wheat blocks to see what kind of looked better. Whether it was, you know, going horizontally or vertically as we ended up doing there. Which I think does look better. I think it looks a lot better like this than it would horizontally. It's a little too many straight lines when you do it horizontally. 
There's an unfinished house, still needs a door and apparently furniture. I don't think I ended up finishing most of the houses with beds either. These were the uh, kind of the watchtowers that we had to put around. There's one here, there's another one right through there. And I think there's a third one. Yep, yeah. oh no, that's the church. There's a third one over in that direction somewhere. We had to build three of them. Over here is kind of the woodlot where we were um, setting up kind of the tree farm. Tons of trees in there. I don't know if I'd do it like this again. The problem is you end up with all these tall trees in there. And I'd like to, if I made another tree farm, I think I'd like to make sure that we weren't going to get those. Because they're a pain in the ass to, uh, to kind of, you know, chop down. Oop, there we go. This I liked. This was kind of like the wood storage shed kind of thing. I like the way that ended up looking. With all the different kind of woods. It actually looks like it's piled up logs. And, um, I don't know, I just really like that. Oh, more chests over here. I've been trying to collect everything into one place. But everything is just everywhere. I think I've got most of it, except for this. I might move this, I don't know. If it's still there when the world goes up for download, I didn't move it. Uh, over here is the waterfall that we put in. It used to be just a pit here, and then there's a cave down below that, but it doesn't go anywhere. But I think the waterfall looks good, especially with these trees around it. it. looks good from the other side of the lake, too. Oh, that tree grew. I guess I was trying to grow one there. Uh, we had built some houses up here. Oh, another chest. Chests and uh, crafting benches are literally everywhere. Just all over the place. Down over here, we put in our... Um, sheep farm. I've got most of the... I think I'm still missing one or two, and I don't remember which ones. Something that was supposed to go in there. But I can't think of what it was now. I don't know, there's just so many kinds of sheep that I don't remember what color was supposed to be there. Something I was waiting for. I don't know, we got blue, we got light blue. We got, uh, okay, light gray, dark gray, yellow, orange, white and black, pink, blue. What color is this? Is this the... Lime? I think that's lime. Red. Cyan, I think, maybe. And then, I don't know. Being colorblind makes this difficult. I don't know. What's what's the difference between these two? One's purple, I guess, and this one is a little bit... I don't know. What's this one? Alright, whatever. We're missing one color, and I don't know which one it is. Let's leave it at that. Uh, and then over here was going to be kind of a like a larger wheat field. Once we once we got these, the, you know, the wheat blocks, I thought it would be necessary to have a larger area growing wheat. And then we put these little dudes in here, our little scarecrow guys, and they provide enough light for all the wheat to grow, which is nice. Uh, there's a little, you know, pond of water under each of them, so it covers that up as well. Oh, yeah, and more. More chests. What do I even have over here? Lots of stuff. Huh. i going to take those arrows. But I think that's the extent of what we've done over in this direction. Let's go over to the village now. <clears throat> the village is actually quite close. It's just kind of up this hill, but you can't get up there, really, I don't think. Let's try to go up this way. Yeah, there we go. So it's like right here. Here's the church that we built. We had to build uh, some kind of community buildings. I'm not... Uh, I'm not thrilled with the church. I don't have anywhere to put you, do I? Oh, there's probably something. We'll come over to the church in a sec. Because there's this that I can tie you to over here. This was the inn we built. I think, you know what, of all the of the three buildings here, I think I like the inn the most. It was kind of based on the layout of, like, a Skyrim inn. 
So it's kind of got the sh like the one in um, oh, what's the name of the first place you start in River, whatever, River View, River Run. You got the long table here. You know, there's like the counter for the the inn dude here. A little bit of a cooking area over on this side. Couple, uh, couple bed. There's supposed to be a bed in there. I think I moved it somewhere. Couple little, uh, couple little in rooms. Another one back here. I ended up really liking how this turned out. I like how the roof goes with the beams and the, you know, the cross beams. Very pleased with how this one turned out. I like the kind of the stone lined roof, and then we have the, you know, the fireplace on the outside. Is that visible from the inside? Yeah, there's a little... There's a little place where you could have a fire in there, although I wouldn't suggest it with all the wood construction there. Then we have... The town hall kind of area over here is where we would put, you know, all the stuff that we needed to have stockpiled in order to advance to the next stage. Over here is kind of the administrator's office. The mayor's office, I guess. And then, of course, the... Town council meeting with a little platform at the front. I think it looks good. Let's go check out the church. Oh yeah, and of course the town well. Another... Two cra- oh, and another chest, really. With random things. They're Easter eggs! They're intentionally there, don't worry about it. So this is the church. I think the church ended up looking pretty decent from the inside, too. I might, uh, yeah, that's kind of ugly. That wall. I don't know if I'd do that again. But, uh, you know, you got the altar up here. I think it looks neat. And then, of course, the plank, or the benches. The pews, if you will. On the outside, I think I'd be more, like, that's, that's ugly. That should go. I think I'd be more ornate if I had to do this again, maybe with some kind of, like, ridged columns on the outside or something between the windows, maybe. Like, put a, a stair at the bottom. And then maybe cobble fence going up, and then another stair at the top and have the, the, the roof come out an extra block. And then maybe, I don't know, something over here to get rid of that. And I don't know about this tower again. I think I, I was too... I don't know. I think I was too interested in using this kind of style with the, you know, the pillar, the wood pillars, and then the wood cross beams, and then kind of filling it with the cobble. That doesn't look as good as I thought it would at the time. But we were limited. I was kind of limiting myself on the, in terms of what I could use. Like, I was trying to keep it to only using materials that were reasonably available. Trying to give it kind of a local feel where they would only have used the materials that were available in the area at the time. Let's go uh, over this way. So this is the giant wall. We'll take a look from the other side and from the interior, but uh, that took a while to actually get in place. I'm in peaceful but right now, by the way, just so I can do this. Uh, and then this is, you know, the bridge kind of, this was supposed to be the main entrance to the town, but it's probably a bad place to have it. Or I guess it wouldn't be if we had built more up into this area, which was kind of a plan. And I think I was going to extend that wall to come across like this and then skip over that and then include more of this area in the town. But once you got it all cleared out of trees, it was actually a much larger area than I predicted. Uh... This is just a gatehouse, there's not actually anything in there. Then you cross, or a toll booth or something like that. Anyway, then you cross the, the bridge and we have these two towers. And we'll drop the, the horse off. There. Oh, another chat! Oh, it's actually empty. Alright. So and then these are like the guard towers. You can go all the way up. And kind of look out over everything. I like this construction. This way I was happy to kind of figure out where you can get up here and you can kind of look out, like kind of like a murder hole. And it actually feels relatively spacious on this side. And then obviously on the other side you just have the little slit, which is neat. So this wall was supposed to extend 
kind of going that way. Although, I think I would just bring it, I would just leave it along the bank of the river rather than going across if I was to actually complete this. Uh, and then the porch area would obviously be kind of out over there. <clears throat> but then the wall continues along and it goes all the way around and took an insane amount of cobblestone. I actually built it like a cobblestone generator thinking, oh, well, that'll make it a lot easier. But it actually, it actually takes a lot more time to farm cobble from a cobblestone generator than it does to just go underground and mine out a giant hole, basically. Hey, crafting bench. This was a pain to make. These stairs that go up and down at various positions at kind of weird angles and trying to keep it so that it's not too far off the ground, at least on the interior, so it's kind of consistently high or within, you know, a certain range of height. And the town actually looks kind of neat from here. It would look better if we'd actually built more houses, I think. Or more styles of houses. Once we got moving on to this, some of these things took so much time that I didn't really... Didn't really do a lot more over there. Other than building that kind of covered bridge there, which is kind of... Looks here. I mean, it's bigger than the houses. It's even more, you know, advanced construction than the houses. I had been working on this wall and then ran out of cobblestone, so I never actually got to complete this. Actually, I think all I needed was the stairs for this side, wasn't it? Just to do the railing and then whatever's here. Yeah, so I only needed a few more bricks. That wouldn't actually have taken a lot of effort to fix or to finish. Uh, and then this is where the wall and another crafting bench because they're everywhere. I don't pick them up. I just leave them wherever I drop them. And so one of the last things that we completed here was this um, the marketplace, which I was going to use as storage, and that is largely the case now. I've kind of moved everything in here. Uh, and put little markers up for can give you a general idea what's in here. So there's an iron block and it's got all the metals. There's a book and it's got books and it's got enchantments, that kind of thing. Zombie flesh and it's got all the kind of hostile mob drops. That's a wooden plank and it's got a jumble of things. I really like how this turned out, especially these roofs. Like if we go up above... You can't really see it from down below. But figuring out that you can put carpeting on top of string really made this look neat. I had wanted to have like a canopy kind of idea with the market stalls, but I had, couldn't figure out how to do it. So discovering that was a huge, huge boost to doing this uh, this project. I think it ended up looking pretty neat. I really wish, though, that you could do it vertically, so you could have, you know, a tapestry or a banner kind of thing, rather than having to build it into the wall out of uh, wool blocks, that kind of thing. So that is it that we've actually finished as far as the town goes. Over here, I'm heading in the right direction, right? I think so. Maybe. The rain... You know, I'm going to turn the rain off. There we go. And I'm going to set it... Today. Uh, yeah, here we go. So over here we had a mine, which... Once I realized kind of the size of the market, I wasn't sure if we were going to need like a larger area for the town, but maybe we wouldn't. Maybe if we brought the, the wall through over here, it would be... Still a reasonably huge town. But maybe that was more ambitious than I should have should have been expecting. Over here we had the mine. The location where I pretty all of my deaths pretty much happened. And of course there's a more more junk. And a random crafting bench. That one 
I remember the story behind this crafting bench. That was put here because I had sealed off the entrance here when I was kind of working back here. And then broke my pick and didn't have another one. And for whatever reason, I had sealed it with cobblestone, so I couldn't get out. So I had to make that to make the pick in here to get out. I remember that. And of course, there's another one, like, feet away. And then you can see three of them from here. <laughs> oh, I have a problem. Down in there's a cave that I was caving in. But this was going to be kind of the idea for the mine. It's got all these little stairs going down. Takes you right down to bedrock level. Um, am I wearing armor? Yep. One of the rules is that we couldn't go underground if we didn't have an iron helmet. At least. You would have iron or better helmet in order to go below 40 blocks, I think it was. So we managed to get all the way down to this level. Oh, I do have a ton of cobblestone in here now. This is recent. This is from whatever... And I got some diamonds, too. Uh, this is kind of more recent. Since I did that wall, I think, and ran out. This used to be all lava back in here. I spent... A t you can still hear it. But I spent a ton of time coming in here with uh, gravel. Trying to clear it out. Oh, some more redstone. Yeah, it used to all be lava in here. A lot of work. A lot of work. Alright. So I think we're pretty much done. I think that's more or less the tour. It doesn't seem like a lot has been done. When you actually kind of go over it like that. But I've been patchy at best when it comes to... Finishing things here. Usually something else would take my interest and then I'd kind of be bad about it and forget to come back here. Anyway, so this is going to be up for download if you want to check it out. Uh, the link should be in the description by the time this goes up. I think I'm just going to put it up on Mediafire. It's actually a pretty small file. It's only, I think, 69 megabytes. And since this is 1.6.4... And we've just loaded everything right now. Everything should be fine for loading into 1.7.1. If you're interested in the desert that we went to, it's in that direction, which is... Where am I even looking? North is that way. Oh no, that's west. North. Okay, so it's to the northwest. Apparently. <clears throat> Where has the sun been rising? Oh, man. In the east, obviously. Okay, so the, the desert to the northwest, there's a swamp to the southeast, I think, if you're interested in finding that. And I think that's the extent of the area that has been loaded. Um, now, obviously, we are at X490 right now, and Z... 10,700. So I've set the spawn point to be over in the village here. So if you show up in the world, I think you're going to spawn over here. If you put it up on a server, I don't know where you would come up. But this is... But yeah, this these are the coordinates of where the... Um, the actual base is built. This is a large biome world as well. So the areas around here are pretty huge. This forest is gigantic. And that was what I wanted. I wanted to build, you know, an area in a giant forest. And you can't really do that in a vanilla world. You end up, you know, the forest is actually pretty small. All the biomes are kind of small if you want to build something that kind of sprawls all over the place. Uh, there's a plains that way to the west. And I think also that way. I think it kind of goes all the way around. But there's villages, that kind of thing. I haven't explored many of them, so there's still a lot of stuff to do around here. Uh, but yeah. So, once again, I am Nikehead. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this series. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you get down, or if you uh, go download the world, I hope you enjoy that. 
and I look forward to seeing you in whatever series I decide will replace this. So take care.